right, now let's check in with Larissa, who has our second adoptable animal for the day. Hey, Larissa. Yes, I do. And our second adoptable animal is six and a half years old. So she would be going into second grade if she were a student. And she's just very advanced for her age. So she's very smart and she'd be going into second grade. So let's see Hillary. She is so sweet. She's this golden brown color. She's kind of got a block head like, like a lot of pitties and pity mixes have. And because she's kind of just a basic brown dog, she has not been adopted in six years. She has been sitting and waiting in a rescue called Community Animal Rescue and Adoption in Jackson, Mississippi. So le let's meet Hillary and Stevanna, who are standing by. Look at that pretty girl. Tell us all about her. So as you said before, Hillary's been at Kara for about six and a half years. Um, she came as a puppy. However, she came when she was about six months old. So she was a little bit bigger than a lot of the puppies there at the time. Um, so she just got overlooked. She wasn't the smallest. She came in with her brother, who is William. He's also still here. Um, she's just she's a really great dog, but unfortunately been overlooked because she is not the smallest, not the youngest, um, but I think she's one of the greatest. That brings tears to my eyes. She is the greatest. I'm telling you, you know, these these bigger dogs that, you know, have the blocky looking heads or maybe are just black or brown and don't have any outstanding characteristics, they get overlooked all the time. But she's got that smiley face and she is ready for a home. She's been there for six and a half years. So please go to karams.org for more information on Hillary. Again, they're in Jackson, Mississippi. And if anybody deserves a second chance, it's that girl or her brother who are also who is also waiting for six and a half years so please go online and find out more information or see what other animals they have available and just remember there are so many wonderful animals I've just been in Louisiana for a while and seen 400 500 600 dogs that need help so please think about adoption ever after because it is definitely the way to go